finally made it shooting. It's just been one thing after another. I tried to go to my normal spot today, and there were cars everywhere. And that's a spot you can't park anywhere else but right by the gate. So, I found a new spot. I had to walk through that. And a steep hill. But I finally made it to what I think is a good spot. As you can see, I've got my target set up down that way the backstop. There's no no shooting signs here, no no trespassing signs, so I think I'm good to go. There are the prices of ammo has kept me from going, and then nowhere really to shoot anymore. They closed one of my spots, and my other spot, there was like five, six cars there blocking everything, so I had to go exploring and find a new spot. So let's get to it. Yeah, so there's the pathway I had to take in here. But we got some flowers growing out of the little swampy area here. And then I found a nice little backstop. I got my target set up here. I got one of these buffalo boar rounds, which it was like 40 bucks for 20 of them or something like that. So it's a really heavy round that you're supposed to carry in the woods like for bear protection or whatever. So let's go ahead and shoot this bad boy off. Oh yeah, that thing kicks a lot harder. <laughs> than any of the 357 Meg rounds, that's for sure. All right, well, getting close to finishing out the day. Been here for a few hours now. So I figured there's no better way to end it without the AK. God, the things I do to get a better shot. I just tried to come over here to get a different angle and take a shot from the tree line right there. And I stepped in that thinking the ground was solid, but it's not. It's straight mud up past my timberlands. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and abandon that just because I don't want to get my feet more wet than they already are. Yeah, maybe I'll try one more, one more thing. Uh, looks kind of soft. Oh my god. Okay. Now the ground is hard enough. All right, here's the angle I was wanting. Well, time to get soaked again. Okay. So, I think I gotta make it to that middle spot right there. Yeah, see that stuff is just straight. It goes down like a foot. Okay. Okay. Whoa. 
almost did a mud test on my AK, which I was not wanting to do. <laughs> Holy crap. See right there? Look at how far I went down. <laughs> Just completely covered in mud. And this is all because the one local shooting spot I have that's easily accessible, well, I guess by easily accessible you mean a mile of hiking, there's room for like four or five cars to park there. So it's either do that or come out in the middle of fucking nowhere and find your own spot. But look it up online and make sure that it's in the legal shooting area and you're not breaking any laws like that. So this is Department of Natural Resources land. That's why it's legal to shoot here. So just make sure you check that kind of stuff out before you try to find your own spot. I'm surprised nobody's ever been here before because I didn't find any shell casings, any shotgun shells, nothing to show that anybody had ever been back here shooting. So I'm pretty sure I'm the first to come back here. And the whole reason I came to this spot in the first place is because this, uh, the turnoff to get here is past or before uh, the spot that I usually go to. And I always see a bunch of cars parked up here. So I assumed they were shooting, but apparently not. But although I did take the first fork I saw and I could have kept going and it looked like it just went for miles. So I figured I would just take the closest turnoff, make sure everything was safe and good to go and found this little spot. I got my little backstop right there into that tree stump in the dirt hillside. So I make sure everything's safe and legit before you start shooting, obviously. And for the love of God, everybody pick up your shell casings and your garbage or they're just going to keep closing more of these shooting spots. It's just not worth it to be lazy. And hey, if you collect your brass long enough, I collected all my shell casings for like a year and took it to the recycler and I made like $160. So, I mean, it's worth it too. Just a little tidbit of information for those of you that didn't know. But yeah, spot's not bad. I think I'm going to call it a day. I actually have one more surprise video planned that I'm thinking about doing. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.